around the Midwest in Kentucky spring and by April 1st you know you, you're thinking spring's here and you fly back from Florida and you realize you know it's not spring yet it's still, we still got another month but I always try to remember spring comes in May in New York it's not really in April but I guess it's a lot further north than Kentucky. good friend of mine always says, and kind of a mentor to me, Dr. Lavin in Kentucky, always says there's, there's more training horses than training horses. So, uh, you know, you gotta, there's so much with the communication nowadays and things of that nature that uh, there's certainly, it isn't just about being a horse trainer anymore, it's about being a salesman and, and being in the marketplace. And, and uh, there's a lot more competition out there and people certainly, uh, certainly move around a lot more than they used to. I, I worked for some other people. My father uh, very unselfishly sent me to California to work for Jack Bamberg when I, when I was, uh, you know, 22 years old. So uh, that was a great experience, but I missed the East Coast. And, and coming back and working in New York with Jeff Lucas, who was probably, uh, you know, one of my bigger influences other than my father, Jeff and Wayne, uh, but I, I worked hand in hand with Jeff on a daily basis who had a great influence all of, over all of us as assistant trainers when we were working for Wayne. What, what some people don't realize is sometimes your favorite horse is not necessarily one that's your biggest earner or things like that. There's horses that have such unique personalities that they become your favorites. Well, obviously, you know, we're living in a, in a digital age and, and trying to keep up with the times, and, and there, it certainly is applicable to horse racing and training horses just as well. We've got a, a central website that, the service that we use called TLOR, which communicates with our personal website, hennigracing.com, which we are able to, uh, you know, when we first set up our website 10 years ago, we had to go on and put every little detail in daily, but now, you know, with with, the, with phones, uh, I've got an iPhone. I can I can actually put in a workout, work a horse, and put it on my website before I get back to the barn. Which it's just amazing technology. You know, to, to be able to work a horse. The owner rolls over, gets up, instead of having to make a phone call or wait till you know he gets an email from from the racing form or look at the wait till he buys a form and looks at the workouts from two days prior he, he's got the workout before I've even gotten back to the barn and cooled the horse out so and, and our, our entries are automated the past performance are automated everything goes straight to our website and it's just it's just really amazing to, to keep up with the times and try to keep up with the times but but we have fun doing it you know, in this business, if you're winning 20% of the time, that's 80% of the time you're losing, and you, uh, you know, you're going to come come home. And if you can't, if you can't accept the, the hard effort from a horse or the hard work from the grooms and and everybody involved with the horse, and, and take a second and a third and a good effort, even if it's a, a troubled fifth, and and take something good from it, you know, you're you're going to get frustrated in the game. So, you know, I, I like to just kind of look at the good efforts and poor efforts and. Uh, and uh, try and make the most out of the positives. <laughs>